This is an excerpt from The 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris. Number 7. Things in excess become their opposite. It is possible to have too much of a good thing. In excess, most endeavors and possessions take on the characteristics of their opposite. Thus, pacifists become militants. Freedom fighters become tyrants. Blessings become curses. Help becomes hindrance. More becomes less. Too much, too many, and too often of what you want becomes what you don't want. This is true of possessions and even time. Lifestyle design is thus not interested in creating an excess of idle time, which is poisonous, but the positive use of free time, defined simply as doing what you want as opposed to what you feel obligated to do. Number eight, money alone is not the solution. There is much to be said about the power of money as currency. I'm a fan myself, but adding more of it just isn't the answer as often as we like to think. In part, it's laziness. If only I had more money, it's the easiest way to postpone the intense self-examination and decision-making necessary to create a life of enjoyment, now and not later. By using money as a scapegoat and work as our all-consuming routine, we are able to conveniently disallow ourselves the time to do otherwise. John, I'd love to talk to you about the gaping void I feel in my life, the hopelessness that hits me like a punch in the eye every time I start my computer in the morning. But I have so much work to do. I've got at least three hours of unimportant email to reply to before calling prospects who said no yesterday. Gotta run. Busy yourself with the routine of the money wheel, pretend it's the fix-all, and you artfully can create a constant distraction that prevents you from seeing just how pointless it is. Deep down, you know it's all an illusion. But with everyone participating in the game of make-believe, it's easy to forget. Problem is more than money.